Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use art masking fluid to mask off areas um, on a drawing um, for use in watercolour painting. Now, what I want to try and work out is where the highlight areas are going to be. Obviously, the teeth, this is going to be, um, I want them masked out, I think, or maybe masked out like reflection lines off them, maybe the top of the head or something, maybe that point there some like um, lighter bits which are gonna uh, obviously be shiny for this like demon uh, serpent type thing so I've got some Dale O'Rowney art masking fluid uh, I haven't used it yet uh, so uh, but I have opened it and uh, this stuff stinks <laughs> so be prepared for that um, I mean, maybe open your window or something if you're going to use anything like this uh, because it really does stink um, you need uh, an old paintbrush this is just an old one um, I've used a quite a thin one uh, because I want to try and do a little fan little bits like maybe some reflection lines on the teeth and things like that so that's what I'll do um, I'm going to show you how to do that so I've just got some on the brush at the moment and I can I've got the the bottle open so I can just add some to that as I'm going along. So I just want a like a, a smear on the top. Um, just to show a reflection. Maybe a few spots here and there. Get some more. Don't want to leave the bottle open too much because it might start drying up. Um, let me just use the the tip just to take a bit of excess off there. Just going over one side of the teeth. So I don't want it to be covered too much. Dab on some areas. Right, so that's a few areas there. I'll leave that to dry slightly. So I went and weigh and I just washed this with warm soapy water. Um, even though it's an old brush, I still use it for a few little things like inking and things like that. So it's best to try and uh, use any type of brushes. So what I'm going to do now is watercolour paint this. Um, you'll see like a little time lapse and then we'll come back and we'll take the um, excess masking fluid off which is just these little bits of you know, areas here and there and yeah we'll see how it looks
Now we'll just wait for this to dry and then we can peel off the uh, little areas uh, once it's dried properly. Um, I've absolutely soaked it with watercolour so I'm going to have to leave it to dry for a little bit longer so one moment. So I can now rub off um, this and just raise it a bit more. I'll take this stuff off. Took a bit more off than I wanted, but <laughs> oh well. I've made good use of this cheap watercolour. <laughs> Real chalky and cheap. see just taking them white bits out there on them you know just setting sections of it it really helps the drawing um, yeah it's almost like a reflective type quality um, also you could just like go in and add white paint afterwards um, but that's what masking fluids for so you don't have to sometimes white paint um, you know white watercolour doesn't really work so you can probably use acrylic paint or something like that but that was just uh, an example of using art masking fluid cheers now <laughs>